like this. So uh, thank y'all for coming out, and hopefully I can make your time worthwhile. So it's an honor to be here in front of you all. Before I get started, though, uh, I just had a cousin that passed away about two weeks ago, and um, I, want, well, I would love to dedicate this to him for uh, the time being. So can we please just give a moment of silence for a few seconds? Um, his name is Charles Lee Freeney, known as Chucky. A lot of people want to know, where did the letter come from? We just see him out of nowhere. Is he from Tennessee? Uh, I was born and raised in Cleveland, Ohio, and um, I was there until I was a adolescent, and then I moved around a lot. Originally, I was a rapper. I wanted to be a rapper. Um, I made history in my city, Cleveland, Ohio. I was the first rapper at age 14 to have two albums out in stores and a record deal. But going forward, um, I moved to Atlanta in my early 20s. And upon moving to Atlanta, I still want to be an actor. Excuse me, I still want to be a rapper. So I figured, why not do extra work? The PAs would say, Leonard, come here. We need you right here next to this alias talent. They just kept picking me out the blue to be right by this actor. I never understood why. So, um, you know, something just dawned on me. Like, well, they keep putting me right here next to these actors. And people are saying, like, hey, we want you to come back. and. Just all extra work, and it was fun. So that's how I got my first uh, taste of acting. So I started to venture off to acting and leave the music alone. This is years ago, y'all. This was like a long time ago. So now I am an actor, background actor. How many of y'all did background? Or did anybody? Okay, so y'all know, you know, that's how you start off. A lot of us start off as extras. Acting and working, it doesn't go hand in hand, but you have to pay your bills. So it's like, what do you do? Do you want to be an actor or do you want to work or be a worker? Do you want to have your nine to five or do you really want to pursue your dream? If you really want to act, in my opinion, you have to do it full time because your job is really going to get in the way. My two cent jobs are in the best interest of an actor because you will have conflict with your employer. Trust me. I became a CNA, took all my classes, got my, certi my certificate, and a foster parent as well. Uh, my house, though the highest level of kids in my home, and even to this day, they reach out to me, hey, Linda, thank you for what you did, because I do like helping people, so um, that's the reason why I chose those professions. This is what changed me. I decided one day, hey, I'm going to stop working. That's it. I'm done. How you going to pay your bills? I don't know. <laughs> you just want to act, huh? That's all I'm going to do. That's all I'm going to do. I didn't know what I was doing. I had no schooling, no direction. It was just go out there and the leap of faith and see what you can do. So, dun, 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 we're gonna go into this one big, 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 big production. At this time, I'm kind of like popular in Knoxville. You know, I've been everywhere, I've been on the mixers, I've been on a lot of the crime TV shows, I've done a lot of college films. Nothing, nothing like Black Panther. All this weight came off of me, and I felt so just, just, just loose. I said, you know what, fine, I'm gonna be me. Started walking around, took my shirt off, got my jewelry on, just walking. <laughs> just don't mind, you know, mind my, mind, just mind my business. Everybody looking at me like, who is this guy, you know? Just mind my business. I see Letitia right come out. I see Angela Bassett come out, just standing there. They literally rode right past me in the scooter, in all white uniform. I just nod, and it pours down rain. I mean, everyone gets drenched, everyone gets wet. So we all run into the tent, huddle up under this tent, first time. Now I'm huddled up, I'm bumping somebody, turn to come out, I mean, turn, you know, I turn around, come to find out, it's Angela Bassett literally right behind me. I said, oh, I was scared. <laughs> but be lit still, be lit. I got this, I'm lit, man. I don't care about this, I'm just trying to get out the rain. <laughs> <laughs> My point is, the more I showed the director that I wanted to work, the more scenes he put me in. Every time I would go on set, he watched me to see how I, how I would interact. And each time I got closer and closer and closer to the Avis talent to where his name is Ryan Coker, the director. Leonard, take this plate, take it to Sherry. Sherry, you tell Leonard thank you. And you put the food down, you go and try to say it to Chala. They had me running around that whole science scene like crazy, getting food. It's uh, being security, but they only kept the one that, I don't know if y'all seen, but um, it was just a blessing to be there because 
there was a plan. The director specifically pulled me out and had me to be on that mark and to shoot this scene. I'm gonna tell you what happened that day too. So it's uh, July 14th. One of the PAs come grab me and say, Larry, go on set, right? I said, okay. So I go on set. Did you not? It's Letitia Wright, Ryan Coogler, and uh, then somebody else. I forgot the, uh, yeah, I forgot the other actor's name. But um, they all stand there. They're waiting on me. They stay just standing there. Just, just stand there waiting. So I get on set and I'm like, dang, you know, and I'm nervous now because I don't know what's going on. We got the news people all behind us with their little you know, pairs and pins and they writing. And I guess they're looking at me like, oh, this new guy coming in. You know, they're just writing. So, this is, so the director let her stand on your mark. So I come out standing on my mark. Now I'm getting nervous because I'm like, I'm about to speak. I think I'm about to talk, y'all. <laughs> the PA dude, he comes, he's like, hey, man, you might get it, man. Stay sharp. My goal and my uh, assignment was to be a scientist and a security guard scientist. So I didn't do anything else. And um, they just kept that one scene in there, like I mentioned. But um, my experience on that was fun, though, y'all. Um, I got to meet a lot of people. They embraced me, we had a, a, a blast, they called me friend, like Sherry, she's like, hey y'all, hey friend, you know, I was her friend, and um, you would have thought that I was cast as a regular, you know, actor and actress, but I was really a background to show the director, hey, I'm here to work, this is what I want to do, and he grabbed me that. We did that about 50 times before they actually got the right one. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. Quick, right? Boom. <laughs> So, like I mentioned, I did extra work before. So, I worked with, I don't know what production, could have been Big Mama's, but it was one production I worked with them in, and like I said, it's how you carry yourself. It was like, this guy was easy to work with, he came one time, he did a job, call him, he made me interested. That's why I like acting so much, because it's self, I, you can pretty much get to find who you are, your strengths, your weaknesses, and what you're made of. It's an identity thing, and once you get there, all you gotta do is just sit back and here come everybody coming, you know? And that's my goal, you know? I don't want I, should, I don't want to go out to audition anymore. My name itself should bring people to me, and I feel like that's what you want. Appreciate the uh, question. Mm -hmm. Who's the reference? <laughs> <laughs> Tell them. All right, y'all know. Tell them, or I'm gonna say it. Y'all, y'all ready? <laughs> All right. It was Lynn Bone. <laughs> <laughs> it was because they called my dad that and I was a junior. Um, so I was like, Lil Lynn Bone. So I did the Lil all because I tried to be like, you know what I'm saying? I'm Lynn Bone, you know? <laughs> but yeah. Um, what you three, your goal? Be on Netflix. I would love to be on Netflix even though I'm on a series, you know? Um, I prefer just an indie film, but I don't care, you know? Just, Netflix, for yeah, sure. Netflix. Or just a streaming. I, streaming, there you go, the streaming, streaming service. Streaming service, correct. Boom, I work out, I eat right, I try to motivate. All this is part of the identity thing as an actor, you know? Um, you have to give back, you know, for what you receive. A lot of people look out for me, so I try to do the same, you know? So that's how you get your blessings in the industry, too, is give the help and hand that needed, because someone helped me. And like with that director on Black Panther, I mean, he literally didn't know me. It was nothing for him to grab me and say, you know, we don't want him or if or we did, or we, we don't want him or we do. It wouldn't have changed his career, you know? He's still making millions. I mean, Ryan Coogler is one of the top three biggest directors in Hollywood. It was nothing to come get old Leonard to do his stuff, but him helping me is my way of helping y'all because he didn't have to do that. The director did that. It wasn't the casting company, it wasn't anybody who directed himself said, just put him in here, we're gonna write him in this. That wasn't supposed to happen, you know? Just me showing that I wanted to work, showing that I was available. And listen, y'all, I'm on set, motivating everybody to work out. I'm sitting there doing push-ups and dips. Next thing you know, I didn't even know. Someone gets right beside me doing push-ups with me. I didn't see who it was, but after we were done, I get back up and I go over to like the other scientists, uh, actors, and Leonard, do you know who was just right there with you doing push-ups? Brian Coogler, man. In between sets, we're talking about working out, you know? Or oh, I can do dirty. I can do 35. Well, let's see, let's see, you know? So, um, yeah, you know, it was just me being who I am, and I advise everyone to be who they are as an actor. Because you only get one of you. Uh, 
the first Black Panther, people said it was really unique and inspiring to be on a black set where every, the majority of everybody there is African American. Did you have that vibe? I did. Be honest with you, I did. We're playing rap music, and it was a culture thing. You know, we all got pinks in our hair, afros. You know, we all come from the same like type of community. I felt like like family for that little, you know, that, that specific small time. You know, even though we may not see each other ever again, you know, but just for that moment, yeah, it was all love and family. You know, and when you got your goal and your mindset of something, honestly, nothing else really matters. You know, is if you want to get there or not. It's said like that because it may sound brutal, but that's the only way that I know. You know, I sacrificed really my life to be in this industry and I don't regret it, you know, because at this point now I'm working consistently in this industry. I look for ways to grow and mature and become better and better and better. And whether I'm on YouTube, working out, networking with people, shaking hands, don't matter. I'm just out here, so yeah. And you lead by example, man. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. you can see it on your Facebook page. And if y'all don't know me, you can look me up on Facebook, Leonard Freddy, Freddy's F-R-E-E-N-Y. I'm all on there. And then um, I just did it. one uh, scene with Vivica Fox in, in Atlanta like last month called House Sitters 2. Um, it should be coming out soon. Appreciate y'all. Appreciate y'all. Thank you. Thank you.